Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of cyber security sessions. I am Toda Krishna Hema, your automotive expert. So in this video, we are going to discuss about vulnerability analysis. So what it is, how to do it, when to do it, this kind of things you will get to know and the outcomes of the vulnerability analysis also. So why vulnerability analysis? So to identify the security weaknesses and to validate the consistency and coverage of identified security measure, we need to do vulnerability analysis. What is the purpose of it is it? So what is vulnerability analysis? So vulnerability analysis, you can compare with impact analysis in your regular project management. So when do you do the impact analysis is for the entire project and also whenever there is a change in uh, the work scope, right? So similarly, like vulnerability analysis can be done at the entire product level or the asset level and uh, whenever there is a change in asset or change can be in an add-on add -on, uh, or uh, the change in the or the modification in the scope of the um, asset so like whenever there is a change in your asset so you need to do vulnerability analysis so basically this can be a simple tool like a static analyzer tool or uh, any kind any other kind of tool like which is very which looks very similar to static analysis and it uh, your static analysis tool uh, can also perform uh, uh, a way like vulnerability analysis a few of the tools are available in the market uh, to find the vulnerabilities here you will get to know um, the impact of the cyber security asset or the item under the scope uh, so how it is what it is and all so vulnerability is nothing but a weakness in the in your uh, cyber security asset so which is prone to hack so how to do vulnerability analysis so identify the target asset first so your target asset could be the work under the scope of you of your company say then once after identifying uh, then you need to prioritize it so prioritization can be done with by considering its connectivity to the external interfaces like internet connectivity server connectivity um, other external server connectivity that means uh, and user applications databases uh, connectivity and the personal gadget connectivity like your phones or you know your earphones or whatever it is your tablets and uh, even the power chargers also the software updates like the OTA vulnerabilities uh, once after com prior completing your prioritization so the next step is vulnerability scanning so one in vulnerability scanning you will identify all the uh, known vulnerabilities so here it vulnerability scanner so uh, you will have uh, for this particular uh, asset you already have unknown vulnerabilities uh, which are defined in the tool say so those all vulnerabilities will get covered uh, in the vulnerability scanning and in addition to this thing like a few of the vulnerabilities will get exposed when you are doing testing like the first testing or penetration testing um, so then once after uh, doing the vulnerability scanning so you will get the result of it right so uh, the result of it you will get as a log and you need to do the result analysis so by doing result analysis you will get to know what is the severity of the identified vulnerability and also what is the probability of exposure of that particular vulnerability to cause a threat Usually, vulnerability scanners are built based on uh, your networks, that is either your network is wired uh, with a bus or uh, with a wire or your wireless networks like uh, Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth connectivity or something like that. And uh, you need to consider host provider, that means, and uh, uh, and an application uh, so which uh, which uh, has a uh, outcome display and your database the background activity so all these things uh, to be considered uh, while you are building the vulnerability scanner 
so vulnerability analysis outcomes are like you know uh, the vulnerabilities the list of vulnerabilities with the severity we, we got to know and with the probability of exposure so the outcome of the vulnerability could be uh, like you will get to know by considering the severity and the probability of exposure these things you can find it out like uh, the vulnerability has no impact or the vulnerability has moderate impact or the vulnerability has severe impact so with this i came to the end of the topic thank you so much for your time